everyone, it's Holly and I'm the maker here at Missouri River Soap. In this video today, I am going to be making our classic striped rainbow soap. I haven't made this one in a long time, and especially not here in Montana, so I'm very excited to make this rainbow soap in our new workshop. I don't normally talk through my rainbow soap video just because I'm concentrating, there's a lot of work to it, so I may be around talking for a while and I may speed through other parts of the batch. I have everything prepped. I have my mold um, lined. I have it leveled here on the table. I have my stick blender. I'm getting ready to measure my coconut milk and my fragrance oil. And then as you can probably see, I have my oils and my light solution and the colors ready to go. So let's make some rainbow soap. So I'm measuring out my fragrance and I use a rainbow pear. I call it rainbow pear just because that's what I have it in my mind. But it is a pear blend, fragrance oil blend. And then I'm going to measure out my coconut milk. And it's not that much for each batch. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator in between the batches. Okay, so I start with purple, of course, and I like to go ahead and get my colorants mixed into the oils because this is obviously just a single color batch. So it's um, purple vibrance in this one and it's always so pretty. All my colorants are from Nurture Soap. So I'm going to add in the coconut milk and we're just going to blend this all in. I haven't blended in the mica powders. I just wanted to get them in and get them saturated. I'm gonna burp the air out of the stick blender. Now I'm going to put in the light solution and today I have no lilac at all. So that just happens is based on temperatures in my mixture. Use a little bit more water in this batch. All right, let's make rainbow soap. So I do count how long I'm blending for. That'll help me to make sure I don't go too far on the other side. Now we are already at, do this the right way. It's already at a trace, but I want to stir it about. This is one of the smaller batches. I usually don't go under 60 ounces of oils and this is 45 because I'm breaking it up obviously into six different parts. I just love my apron. It's just so nice. I like it. So I'm just kind of looking, making sure we're not breaking down at all. So I'm going to add in the fragrance oil. I'm just going to get this stirred in by hand. And then I will go ahead and blend it just for a moment. It's really important that I don't take this too far. This is a fragrance that does like to accelerate just a little bit. And it can be just fantastic for moving along, getting the batches to set so I can move on. But I don't want to go so far that it won't spread out. So I'm just, it is looking really nice. I'm just double checking. Because if it came apart, you know, came out of emulsification, that would not be good. Okay, so I'm not gonna be moving the mold because it's right where I need it to be. And it is leveled out. Here we go, rainbow soap. I also want to have the time to scrape it out because if I 
don't have the time to scrape out my container, then it is going to be all wonky as well. So I am just going to give it a shimmy. Kind of shimmy and a shake. I've got a marker over here on the side. And now I wait. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is clean up everything. In fact, I was going to show you that. This is just an extended part of a prep video that I did. So I'm trying to just show my process. So this is where I can dilly daddle a little bit because soap needs time to set up. I don't want to sit around for too long. I go ahead and wipe off the excess. And I'm going to run it through some distilled water. Continue to wipe it off. Let it drain there a little bit. So there we have that part. I'm going to just take off the excess and then these will set for a couple of days before I wash them. There's really nothing left on it anyway, but I do try to be extremely cautious. Now my paper towel usage is a little bit more on these big batches. Um, I don't have a lot of other options right now. I can't wash cloths with our little camper washer. So I just try to be as cautious as I can to not overuse. And then we will just burn these. So you can see it's pretty cleaned up. And then I will just go ahead and rinse out my lye pitcher. We're going to stack them all together and they'll be ready to wash. So now I'm going to use some alcohol and just clean up the rest of this mess. Okay, on to the next part, the blue. And I have set a timer, so we will see how long it takes me to start this batch, clean up, make sure this, see how nice and set this is, to see how long it is until this is set, and then I can start again. I thought that would be kind of fun to do. So even though this is set really well, now I am going to flood it on just because I feel more comfortable doing that. Because even though it's set really well, it doesn't mean that it uh, would actually uh, just stay on the top and not penetrate through there at all, just from the pressure of the pour. All right, so it's been about five minutes, just a slight amount over, but I have been dilly-daddling a little bit on this cleanup. So it's been right at 10 minutes. From the start of my last batch to making the batch, pouring the batch, cleaning up, etc. Prepping to get started on this one with my uh, coconut milk and my whatever it's called, a fragrance oil.
Okay, so we're down to the final batch. And I feel like I'm gonna regret this color combo just a little bit, but not enough to put in that trial by fire. I just don't feel like adding that to my ingredient list. It gets long and I don't know, it's just a weird ingredient, don't you think? Like polyester, so I don't think we're gonna do that this time and we're just gonna see how it turns out. In with the coconut milk. With the light and the coconut. Now I feel like I looked at my options and that this uh, blend was going to be about the best. Now when I did the color blender on Nurture Soap Supplies, it was a fairly red color. So let's just see how it goes. Maybe we'll call it pink rainbow. I don't know. So in with the light solution. Do you like the lineup of all my dirty dishes? Okay, so let's let's get this done. So I have been counting to 20. I add my fragrance and I count five to 10 more. And then with the fragrance oil, We're gonna go with it. It's pretty pink, isn't it? Hashtag no regrets. The decision has been made. We shall be happy with it and live with it and just be happy with it. I guess my spatula is kind of on the small side here. That's a uh, pretty set, but you know what? I'm gonna grab one of the other spatulas. So while we do definitely want this one to flood on well, it's not quite as critical as all the other layers. All right, here we go. That is actually a gorgeous color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is what I like to use as my glitter and I have it in a little spritzer. The thing is, highly airborne. Also on California's Proposition 65 as a um, airborne situation. Now when it's not airborne, it's not as much of a situation. So I'm going to mask up and then I'll put some of this glitter on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray the top with some 91% alcohol. This is going to help prevent ash. Now this is Friday and I will probably come out several times over the weekend to give it a spritz, but I'm not really going to mess with it much at all. So I'm going to, if you spray it too soon, the, the weight of the droplets will actually create a design and that's just weird. So done. I have a new box here for my lid. I don't have a lid. Now the wood is going to insulate this very well. I anticipate I don't have any troubles with it in the past, it coming to a gel all on its own, just like this. But I am probably going to just set this bottle on it so it makes a, a fairly good seal. To help prevent ash, we reduce water, we um, spritz it with alcohol, and we make sure it's covered tightly. So those are the important parts. And I may go ahead and put some more on the corners. So there we have the rainbow soap is made. I think I'm going to make this 
another video in of itself just because it's so long and drawn out. So thank you for watching and I hope you'll come back to see the unmolding, the splitting, and the cutting of this soap batch. Bye.